To benchmark Need for Speed Payback, I've used the Ryzen 7 1700X at 3.4 GHz combined with a GTX 1060 at 6GB. Um, one thing I do want to point out um, during this gameplay footage you see here, OBS always has about a 10 to 15% hit on the performance that I've recorded. So you can see here in the top left corner, we should be hitting 60. Occasionally we drop down to anywhere between 55 to 60 and sometimes as low as 45. Um, I've just thrown a quick note in there just so if anyone's not listening they can read it but OBS does have a hit on the frames per second. That's one thing I just wanted to point out. Another thing I want to point out is that Need for Speed really isn't very well optimized for PC. As you can see I've got uh, a 1060 6GB and Ryzen uh, 1700X at 3.4 GHz. The Ryzen isn't touched much, it uses about two thirds of the CPU whereas the 1060 is maxed out at pretty much 95% plus throughout the entirety of the game. A bit disappointed in the performance of this, you can get plus 60 FPS on Ultra with one or two tweaks in the settings, but personally I would just keep V-Sync on, um, you're going to keep that nice steady 60 FPS and there's really no need to tweak it and have it unlocked to just to gain an extra sort of 10 on top of that. Time to kick it up a notch. Hey, Tyler! The boss doesn't pay you to just mess around, man. Guess you really don't want this job, huh? Tyler, where's my car? Don't worry, Weir. I'm not stealing this one. Is that how you treat your friends, Tyler? Huh? Wow. No wonder your crew deserted you, huh? That's not how it went down. Yeah, I bet they can't wait to hear from you, huh? Your perfect heights fell apart and your whole crew became the most wanted little gang in all of Fortune Valley. Miller's had to sell out driving petty criminals to make ends meet. I even heard a little rumor that McAllister's driving for the house these days. And your mechanic? Ah, poor old Raph. You think they'll ever take your calls again? Tyler, come on, listen to me. I'm the only friend you got right now. You will get your revenge on Navarro, and I will get my car back. But you have to be patient, understand? The pieces are just about to fall into place. Okay, I'll take that as a yes. Now get back here before I fire your ass. MSI Afterburner has logged both of the uh, playthroughs. Obviously I did one at uh, V-Sync off and V-Sync on. So we should have um, some wildly different graphs based on um, the V-Sync affecting the frame rate. Obviously V-Sync on caps it at 60, V-Sync off pretty much unlocks it to be whatever frame rate it can achieve, the maximum it can achieve. So this first one I'm looking at here is, if I scroll to the bottom to get the frames per second, you can see here um, we've got this completely erratic frame rate, which is because it's uncapped, uh, V-Sync is turned off. But just quickly before we get to frame rate, I know you've seen it there, uh, the GPU temperature again is testament to the um, 1060 and the cooling that comes with the 1060 version that I have. Um, I have the, it's a Palette uh, GeForce GTX 1060, six gigabyte version. Um, the, the cooling in the computer and onto the, the GPU itself locked the uh, temperature when it was pretty much at 100% usage, at about 70 degrees. Okay, 69 degrees there, never goes into 70. Okay, that was a lie. I saw a, a blip there, probably not gonna get it bob on but there was a blip there it went into 70 degrees and that was it which is perfectly fine there on max 70. Um, maximum it reached for the gpu was 100 and it pretty much locked out constantly at 99. Um, this will be when the 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 run started when i was playing one of the missions and you can see here there's some dips here and there down to what was that 60 something like 63 uh yeah 63 
percent usage but most of the time it's using a solid 99 percent which is good i want my gpu to be used to its max and especially if we're not getting any thermal throttling uh scrolling down then let's get down to the g the, the cpu sorry uh let's see if we can find it it's the memory core fan speed right so cpu temperature overall uh or cpu one temperature uh 60 degrees never goes above it that's because overall if i get the overall cpu usage which is here we are looking just over half um almost about two thirds actually you can see here the maximum was at 100 but that's when it was booting up this is when it was loading the game this is when i was in the menus and then this is when i started the mission so you can see here it's uh just fluctuating between lows of say 40s um low 50s up to 60 odd pushing 70 and sometimes quite as high as what we got here 88 and into an 89 so great cpu performance again finally then let's get down to well we can just have a quick look at the ram usage never goes above 8 gig really touches 8 gig very close you're going to struggle um if you've got 8 gig as your minimum because obviously you've got your operating system on top um which probably is it is locked in with this but you're going to want to have a bit of more breathing room so 16 gigabyte is what i'd recommend and then finally down to the frames per second now this is when the game was booting up For some reason we were close to well pushing if anything the max there 3300 frames a second obviously it was a black screen the game's loading up so ignore that when the game's loading in the menus um and i've got vsync turned off so you can see here i went through turned vsync off and we jumped up uh, about between 15 to 20 frames. Um, this is loading the game, so it's in a, either a menu or black screen. And then this is when the game started. So you can see here, it's up and down, it's up and down. We've got kind of lows of 57 there, and I know it does get lower here. We get down to 40 at one stage. For most part, okay, we've got highest here of about 96, some 80s, some 70s, some high 60s. Um, personally, there's a lot of breathing room there so that if you did enter a quite an intense scene or any reason why it would drop down to 47 or even 40 that we got yes it's not great and it would only be for a couple of seconds in that scene but you could all, always drop one of the settings down so you got give yourself more breathing room for the fps um personally and i'll show you this the the log now for the for the v-sync on which is going to be pretty much exactly the same it locked out 60, uh, dropped down to 56 in places, 57, and then back because this is the same, the exact same, um, the exact same mission. Um, around this later stage, just before completing the mission, there was a dip to 40. On the V-Sync turned on, we can see we get the same dip. Okay, down to 42. Don't think it went lower than 42, um, and then some places down about 10 frames per second. So overall. I would say V-Sync, stick it on. You're not going to get any screen tearing. Everything was on Ultra. So if anything, we're probably um, pushing it a little bit too much to maintain a locked 60 FPS on the 1066 gigabyte. But drop one or two settings um, down to high and you're going to give yourself that FPS boost.